Gas, disappointing defeat over at Sheffield on Friday night despite the boys putting it all on the line for each other. When you look back at that game, are you pleased with the aspects of the performance despite the result? Yes, there's certainly some really good good things from the game. Um, certainly disappointing with the, with the loss. Um, but, you know, we spoke about uh, defend, defending a, as, as one and as a, as a unit, and I, th I think we did that at times. You know, Sheffield they're a great team. They throw the ball around. Um, I know they scored obviously a couple of tries there, off kicks, fifth tackles, things like that. But overall, it was a, an improved performance. But we do certainly need to be better moving forward. There were aspects where we tried to wrestle the momentum back, maybe equalising before half time, and then they go up the other end and score. Could you feel that in the game that we've sort of struggled to really get a foothold in it? Yeah, um, obviously they had a lot of possession. I think we had some like 24 sets the whole game, which is usually have that in one half. So I think when OB went over and they said he knocked on, I think we're obviously a big turning point. We managed to wrestle momentum back, uh, and sometimes that's rugby for you. Goes your way. Sometimes it doesn't. So uh, disappointing, like I said, but we go on to next week. And speaking personally, um, it was reported you had quite a bad injury. Um, <laughs> how, how's the, the scratch? My uh, horrendous scratch. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, look, uh, obviously playing on them 4G uh, pitches, I think next time I'll be putting some skins on, but um, nah, it, it's, all, it's all good. Moving on to this Sunday then, a homecoming for the boys, back to the Shea after six weeks on the road, playing rivals, Featherstone Rovers, it's always a really great game against the, the Rovers. Um, you must be looking forward to the atmosphere and playing in what should be a really good game over at the Shea. Yeah, it's good to be obviously back at home, it, it's been, it seems like it's been forever. Um, obviously, we had a tough game against Feverston away uh, in, the, in the last encounter, and um, it's always a tough battle against Feb, and uh, no doubt we'll go out there and you know put in a good performance. And it's set to be a good family day, family tickets, offers, and things of that nature, hoping that the public really get behind the boys and make some noise and cheers on to victory. Yeah, definitely, it, it's it's great, um, especially you know when the fans turn up, we can certainly hear them, and yeah, like I said, family day out. You know, hopefully, the weather's uh, nice and we can get as many people down there to support us. They've been a bit up and down in terms of form. I think they've lost six of the last seven, but does form go out of the window in games like this? Yeah, look, obviously, for us, most importantly, is doing what we can do best and control, and, and that's ourselves. Obviously, Feverston are a great team. Yeah, they've been a little bit inconsistent, but uh, for us, it's making sure that we do our job for the team. Um, if we do that, each and every one of us uh, individually, collectively, we, we should go out and get the result.